press stuff. This is it. This is down. It's a little, little too little baby to it. I ain't going on. No, Matt. Um, Matt, you killing me. Number one. Matt's in the world. Number one, sir. Let's go. Yeah. Strong. You can still hit. That's right. So wise in ways he wasn't when he was in the area. Number one, Zooter. Right. 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 Number one, Zooter. Get it right. Number one, get it right. We ready? Former and future junior welterweight champion of the world. Number one. Speed welterweight champion of the world. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Big rounds with Joel Casemire, which is a former world champion. He went pounds with David Diaz. That was a very tough fighter. And um, what was the other guy that he? He's somebody, a lot of guys. But you know what? I went in there and I just wanted the media to know that when Zab Judah came back and I knocked this guy out, all I want to do is just give him five. That's all I got. When he mentioned the Timothy Bradleys, the Devin Alexander, the Murakans. These guys are the so-called champions that definitely don't forget about me. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm here. I'm coming back. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to be like the ghost in the night. You know what I'm saying? And my new thing is I'm punching that God speed. Well, like I said, like I said, hey. punching that guard speed is nothing that they can do. You know what I'm saying? My, my, my jab was the key, you know. My trainer, Yo Judah, and my, my coach trainer, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, told me, Zab, when your jab is on, there's nobody that can hang with you. You know what I'm saying? That's it. So, and you know what? You know what? Um, I could have went in there and just wild out the first round and try, and try to take him out, but I said, no, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to use my jab. I'm going to hit the body and just wait to the right time and I'm going to let it go. And that's what I did. That's right. What's different now as far as Zab Judah today? What's different? Um, Zab Judah today is different, man. Just, I mean, number one, you know, I gave my life to God, man. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, there's nothing that can follow that. You know what I'm saying? When you turn over a new leaf, and you go in there and just, you know, dedicate yourself oh, man. and sacrifice man. You know what I mean? I mean, I just felt that the old Zab, he was cool. He was cool. You know what I'm saying? He was cool. You know what I'm saying? But... What I'm doing today is such a different movement, you know what I'm saying? My children is the future, you know what I mean? I gotta make sure that everything is set up for them. I gotta make sure that my time and legacy in this sport that I finished the right way. And that's what I did when I came back and got with the promotion company that I started my career with. The promotion company that made Zab Super Judo who he is, that made you guys, the media and the fans out there, recognize who Zab was. I went back to them. We got together with Kathy and, and Super Judo Promotions, and you're going to see a lot of us. You're going to see like we're not going nowhere. Yeah. 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 All right, please. Did you learn a lot from, 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 the, from the, what took place from 06 to now? I mean, oh, yeah, definitely. You know what? I always tell people um, trials and tribulations in life is a learning experience. You know what I mean? I mean, if, if I was staying here and say that, you know, I went through everything and my ups and downs and I didn't learn, I'd be 100% I'd be wrong. I mean, everything that I went through was a learning process. 
You know, it was a big man telling me, slow down, slow down, relax, get on key. Now, when you get on key, I'm going to give it all back to you, but you got to get on key first. And now I'm back on key, and um, sky's the limit, y'all. Amen. I mean, I don't know. That's that's another. That's a whole other weight class. That's 147 pounds. But like myself, myself, Kathy will tell you, you know, I mean, uh, you know, if Mayweather and Pacquiao can't make it happen, you know, everybody's saying Pacquiao with steroids and stuff like that. I mean, we don't worry about that. You know, you put uh, 20 million on the table and 40 percent that pay per view. I mean, we will. Be Well, I seen that, you know, as a fight with no, you know, my dad was the key, you know what I'm saying? Eddie was, Eddie, you know, Eddie kept telling me that Eddie and my dad kept telling me in camp, you know, that go to your right, go to your right, don't worry about the left, go to your right, keep stepping around, keep popping that jab and turn them, make them turn to you. And as I was doing that, I seen he started getting desperate, you know what I'm saying? Because he kept seeing that he couldn't catch me, so. When I turned, I kept turning, 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 and using the jab. And then when I got my distance, I said, as soon as he tried to close the distance in, I'm going to shot the uppercut from the, I'm going to send him to the moon. I'm going to send him to the moon. I feel like Rob Cranston. Bang zone to the moon. <laughs> 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 we understand that tonight was a victory, which is true. And we want to see more victories. Are you dedicated to the, to the later rounds? Are you dedicated to the 12 rounds? Are you dedicated to the stamina that you have to get in the later rounds? Well, like I said, um, only time to tell what's going to happen. I mean, as you can see, the tremendous change in my body. You can tell, you know what I'm saying, with the, um, not six, but eight pack, you can tell that um, I really put my work in. Yeah, you can tell that um, from me training in Las Vegas in a different altitude, how I'm running 11,000 11, feet higher than Las Vegas, and I'm standing in the mountains, and I'm finishing 5.5 miles straight up in 58 minutes. I mean, you can tell by my hard work and dedication. You know what I mean? So um, with that being said, um, you know, anybody that's doubtless and believers with the myth about Zab can't go past six and Zab can't do this, I mean, okay, we'll sign the contract. Caddy, ah, build us here, money. put your contract up, and let's get it done. Right. Zab, were you surprised that he got up from that right? Or did you could you, could you tell that well, when he got up, he was he was groggy and he knew it was over? Well, you know, out of desperation, that's what that's, that's what you do. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's a he's, he's a fighter. Like I said, I'm not here to bash Jose Santa Cruz. He's a tough fighter. You know, I, I don't want nobody to look at him like he was a bum or he was a B class level fighter. He was a good fighter. I mean, you know, when he if he would have went in there and we would have been right now in the ninth round and the fight would have been with all that and blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? So let's give credit where credit is due. I mean, he was a big fighter. But I mean, just tonight, I had that little bit more edge. Wake up and do it. Right now, right now, you're the best junior welterweight in the world. Right now, I'm the best junior welterweight in the world. I mean, you know. I don't, I don't want to just, you know, put nothing on it, but I'm going to tell you how I feel. This is just my opinion. This is just my opinion. I'm the best fighter pound for pound with boxing. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I mean, then he got up again. Were you surprised him? Did you no, say, oh, no, okay, no. I got to go for the kill right here. No, you know what? Um, in camp, my trainer Eddie kept telling me that, you know, you got to bring your hook back and put you guys to sleep. And um, I know that I hit him with the uppercut, and I always tell my dad and everybody that when I use my jab and I go out there and hit somebody with a shot, they ain't coming back. But if I would probably finish with the hook, he would have probably been asleep all night. But he got up. I don't know about that. I'm in great shape. I'm in tremendous shape. I could have went 15 more rounds. Yeah, man. Back up that he was in trouble. Oh, yeah. I see that. I mean, one thing about me, everybody tell you, I got a shark's eye. You know, I can smell blood. When I smell blood, I go for the kill. Go ahead. Question. You've been very, uh, how was life in the show? Nah, yeah. Just my craziness, you know what I'm saying? Just that. It was excitement just to be back in lights again and to prove to the world that I am the best fighter out there. I mean, it's one thing to sit around at home on your television and you see your friends in the street go, yo, I'm the best, I'm the best. They're like, okay, what did you do? You know, you're only as good as your last performance. You know what I mean? And, you know, my last performance was a little while ago. But, I mean, I'm back to back with knockouts. Last time it was second round, this time it's third round. I mean, listen, you're going to keep... The number's gonna keep going up. I mean, it's, it's just gonna keep tallying up and tying up. Like I said, the old Zab Judah is back. Yeah! The old Zab Judah is back. Yeah! 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 Yeah!